Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I hope you all are having a great day. It's been kind of chilly here today. I had lunch with my mother-in-law. It was very, very nice. Um, it's good to just have a bubble that you can um, be able to still visit with and, and spend some time with. Um, she's 81, maybe. Yeah, 81. And uh, we just had a great time, but she made us a couple little cool things. Look what she made me. Can you see that? Isn't that neat? Those are just shells that she has picked up from the beach. Um, we used to go to the beach a lot. Now we kind of hit up the mountains. I'm more of a mountain person than a beach person, but I love them both. And here in North Carolina, we have the privilege of being two hours from each. So she did that. And then she made me a set of coasters. There's four of them. I thought those were pretty cool. Got my little drink on it. Chris and I got these glasses. One has a little bit more blue on it when we went to Gatlinburg from the Bowie Pottery place. So, anyhow, it was a good day. It was a real good day. We were recovering from the boys yesterday. Ugh. Ugh. Ready after three little ones. Love them to pieces, though. So, my apple from the Jesse tree. I've got to put a little green leaf on it. Then it's going to go on the tree as soon as we get the tree up. And... Let's see, what else did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to show you where I am on my Advent minis from Southern Skeins. Okay, this was the day one, the mistletoe. And then this is how far I got. I am not color controlling with day two, and the day two color is called Deck the Halls. So that's what this color is, Deck the Halls. So that's how much I have gotten done on my shawl with my Advent minis. Let's open up box number three and see what my next color is going to be. Here's number three. And this one is called Baking. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well that's an interesting color. There you go. That's day number three. Looks like icing and frosting, doesn't it? Sugar Plum Fairy kind of stuff. So that will be going into the shawl tonight. Probably tonight. I think I'll have time to do that. Now for some gift ideas. I actually just got off the phone with my daughter-in-law, Emily, and she's the one that I'm showing you some of the things I got her for Christmas this year. First thing is I made her a shawl. And I love the pattern so much that I ended up doing a pattern like this myself. And it was a Mary Maxim kit. I think it's just called uh, the Triangular Shawl. Something like that. I'll try to link it down below. Like I said, it came originally in a Mary Maxim kit, but I saved the pattern and made another one for myself. But here you go. I love, love the colors in this. They're perfect for her. Very, very nice, and it's on a repeat, so eventually it just becomes easier and easier. I do love this shawl, and I think she'll love it too. She wears things like that, and she's very crochet worthy. Some people just aren't. Um, so the little pin I got to go with it is just this little vintage little owl. I thought it was cute. And I also made her a Starbucks cup. 
and got her a Starbucks gift card to go with that. And Pocket Posh Hangman. I think she'll love it. And each page, you just scratch off the things and you can play Hangman. Look at that. <laughs> she likes to do little stuff like that. I think that would be good. And then a hat, the divine hat with the pom-pom. Uh, and I always try to, oh, this is the um, yarn actually for her shawl. I try to include a ball band so that they will know the washing instructions on any garments that I might have given that year. Um, now, something I just started, and yesterday I didn't, I did have a chance to work on it, but I chose not to work on it because I was so tired. Um, I am making the Grinch for Savannah. And here's his arms. That's all I've gotten done so far. So, these are Grinch arms. I hope to have more done. I want to have it done by Saturday. We'll see. I'm going to have to speed crochet to do that. Now, let's get on to some of our Advent things. For our Jesse tree, the next thing to put up is an ark, signifying Noah and the ark. Now, if you remember what I said, a Jesse tree is simply a bunch of symbols that represent the creation story through the birth of Christ. And so we did the apple. That's what this is the apple for the Christmas tree and now we will work on a boat or Noah's Ark but I think I might do a rainbow um, I'm going to figure that one out tomorrow but I think it's going to be a rainbow I'm hoping so make those rainbows make those arcs tell your kids the story of Noah and the Ark now, for the names of Jesus, which is a unit study I did years ago when my kids were little by Mom Corot, because we were homeschoolers, but this doesn't necessarily have to just be a homeschool thing. If you are home with your children and schooling, this is a fun activity to fill in the gaps, to give you something to do. Um, so, the first one was Alpha and Omega. Okay, the one we are going to do now is um, a mighty God, and the scripture is Isaiah 9, 6, and look up the word mighty. What does it mean, and how does it pertain to Jesus? Find pictures that show mighty, the great redwood trees, the bright sun, a high mountain, a weightlifter. Christ is mightier than all those. Cut out pictures to put on a page of your journal of what you think is mighty. And then learn or at least listen to A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And that is just one of our favorite hymns. So, that is day three, Mighty God. Yesterday was Wonderful Counselor. And, uh, the scripture for that was also nine, Isaiah 9, 6, and that's where it's going to list all the names of Jesus if you read that over and over. Um, I was listening to, oh gosh, I can't remember who, Crochet and Chatter maybe? Crochet and Chatter, I think that's her name. Suzanne, I'm going to list it below. But anyhow, she um, said, now if you read... A chapter of the book of Luke every day you're going to be done by Christmas which I think is just something wonderful wonderful to do I could do that now and just catch up I'm only two days behind so anyhow those are Christmas gifts I've showed you new little Christmas ornament working on my advents working on the Grinch keeping busy so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Be our friends, and we will catch you on the next video. Bye.